Google JAX is a machine learning framework for transforming numerical functions. It is described as bringing together a modified version of autograd, automatic obtaining of the gradient function through differentiation of a function, and TensorFlow's XLA, which stands for Accelerated Linear Algebra. It is designed to follow the structure and workflow of NumPy as closely as possible, and works with various existing frameworks such as TensorFlow and PyTorch. The primary functions of JAX are grad, which is used for automatic differentiation, JIT, for compilation, VMAP for auto vectorization, PMAP for SPMD programming. Single program multiple data or SPMD is a term that has been used to refer to computational models for exploiting parallelism whereby multiple processors cooperate in the execution of a program. JAX supports various platforms and hardwares. To install JAX on CPU, you simply do pip install JAX CPU. Since JAX supports NumPy API, we can use NumPy methods to process tensors and multidimensional arrays. We can use JAX grad function for automatic differentiation. We know that the derivative of the function fx equal to x squared with respect to x is equal to 2 times x. We can use Jack's grad function to calculate the derivative of this function at points 1 and 2. We can also use the Jack's JIT function to create JIT version of the functions for higher performance. Here the computation time for JIT underlying cube function should be noticeably shorter than that for cube function. And if you want to parallelize the matrix multiplication you can use the Jack's pmap function. Jax can even compute Jacobian vector products and vector Jacobian products. Consider a smooth map between smooth manifolds. JAX can compute the push forward of this map, mapping tangent vectors at points on the one manifold to tangent vectors on another. This means that JAX provides a very powerful foundation for a wide variety of computational tasks. For example, push forwards are important in the field of differential geometry. For automatic vectorization, we use the VMAP function in JAX. Suppose you want to add two lists of numbers. The naive way to implement such an operation is to utilize a for loop. However, with the VMAP transformation, JAX performs the same computation but pushes the loop down to primitive operations for better performance, resulting in an automatically vectorized version of the computation. The key takeaway from this video is, JAX decouples mathematics from the deep learning frameworks, which means that you can do numerical computations for wider range of problems using the automatic differentiation. In other words, while it's certainly possible to use JAX in order to build and train deep learning models, it also provides a framework for general differentiable programming. JAX can exploit prior knowledge in a given field built up through decades of research by using a model-based machine learning approach to solving a problem. What's your opinion about JAX? Please comment them down below the video. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not lose future content. See you all later.